Hello, and welcome to The Monster Painter. This week, Dave will be joining me, and we'll be looking at Crypt of Chaos. So, uh, Crypts of Chaos is a indie game published by uh, Crystal Dagger Games. And Crystal Dagger Games was kind enough to send me this uh, review copy a few weeks ago, a month ago. Yeah, it's three, three or four weeks ago. Three or four weeks ago. And Dave and I have been uh, playing it a couple of uh, nights on our uh, on our game night. And um, it is a pretty straightforward uh, dungeon crawler, isn't it, Dave? Yeah, uh, very straightforward, very, uh, very simple set of rules, mm -hmm. uh, easy to play. Yep, it's an easy playing, straightforward dungeon crawler. Uh, it's got some, it's all card based, uh, and it's got lovely graphics, so uh, fully illustrated, nice graphics. Everything is just cards, no dice, nothing like that. Uh, and we get some, uh, a couple of clear plastic miniatures. Well, are they re are these really miniatures? Not really. Those are more pawns. Yeah, some clear plastic pawns. You know, life goes on. But um, everything is handled in the game with cards. The dungeon tiles are cards. The monsters are represented on cards. The treasures are cards. The combat is done with a small deck of six cards that you play out. So. Uh, What's the point? What's the gameplay, Dave? Uh, well, the objective is to find two magic items and defeat the dragon to escape the dungeon. Yeah, and how do you do that? Uh, well, you build the board uh, randomly by drawing cards through three different tiers of uh, difficulties mm -hmm. and uh, fighting the different monsters, which yeah. go up as well through and the difficulties. The monsters appear on the cards. The monsters appear on the cards, the treasure appears on the cards, and often around the tiles, the, the dungeon right. tiles. Yeah. Uh, There's a treasure deck. There's a treasure deck, but, but you have to often defeat monsters to be able to draw the treasure that's on the dungeon tile. Mm -hmm. And you work your way through the dungeon, killing monsters, gathering treasure, until you ultimately confront that horrible dragon to his... In, and you must defeat the dragon in order to escape the crypt of chaos. And so it's a pretty straightforward dungeon crawler yeah so you got to be careful about how you build your dungeon because you can get to dead ends mm -hmm. uh and this game is a one to two player game as well and so yeah only uh, one to two player yeah one to two player and so if you uh you can accidentally block out your ally by by the way you create the map an unwise placement of the tiles can screw you over and you'll lose the game yeah i guess I, we never happened to us but I guess we could hit a point where we just say, oops, we can't actually beat this no matter how we do. Yeah, I think that can happen. I think it can happen, yeah. So yeah, you got to be shrewd about uh, where you place the dungeon tiles. you got to pick your fights carefully. Um, like I said, pretty straightforward dungeon crawler. So the game is fun, straightforward, simple, and intuitive, which are all very solid qualities. How long did it take to play? Uh, each game is about 10 to 15 minutes. Yep. So not long games, nice and fast. The game offers us six different characters, uh, and there, there are variations in them, but uh, they, I don't know, I felt they all played pretty much the same in most ways. Yeah, there's one that I like in particular, but I think that you can see how each one in the right situation it's kind of random in that sense but in the right situation each one will have their moment for sure yeah yeah they're different enough that it could affect play but you know the game is simple and so they don't i don't think they affect play that much the overall design of the game is pretty clear the iconography is nice and simple and easily read there's nothing there's nothing muddy about how the cards all work together and what you do with them. Nice, crisp, simple iconography for quick play. What do you think about the art, Dave? Yeah, the artwork's nice. It's it's a, so a stock art source, but uh, but they chose really nice images, really uh, yeah. pretty artwork, yeah. Yeah, and the rest of the design is pretty pretty good. So a thoroughly well-produced game with quality, quality components and good art, which is something 
a modern game seems to require nowadays, isn't it? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So the game play is very simple, straightforward, and intuitive, but Dave has a little problem with the rule book itself. Yeah, the rule book tends to sort of go back and forth between telling you the rules and giving you an example or flavor text, sort of all intermixed, and it makes what should be a very quick read and a very quick sort of looking up of a quick rule much more difficult than it needs to be. Yeah, and Dave hates flavor text in general. But um, yeah, the the rule book is a little muddier than it should be. Yeah, and I've even noticed a couple points where it contradicted itself with the rule. And it was just possibly unclear. No, it was two different sentences and two different parts that just read differently. And there was these other parts where we did have to kind of make a decision on how do we read that line or not. You know, so it's not quite as intuitive as you think. It's it's uh, well, the, the rule book is a little again. It's a little muddy. Yes, yeah, both for sure. It could this this they could easily publish a, a one or two page cheat sheet and have the whole thing cleared up very very easily. Yep. Or just a nice, crisp, four-page rule book. Yeah, for sure. So uh, I have a couple criticisms of the game. One is probably just a purely semantic one. It's called The Crypt of Chaos, but the game has no chaos in it whatsoever. It is a, um, a very thoroughly mathed out, almost procedural game which is a, a, a good quality in the game itself. It, it plays out very fairly and is uh, challenging without being uh, punishing, but there's just, there's just no disorder. There's no chaos. I think um, the designer was using the term chaos in that uh, Games Workshop way, which is just a synonym for evil, whereas I hear the word chaos, I think disorder, randomness, insanity. My other issue with the game is that, honestly, it's not really a two-player game. I mean, it works for two players, doesn't it, Dave? Well, we did beat it. But, but if the cards come up in a way that one player gets one set of things you need yeah. and the other player gets the other set of things you need, it can... I mean, it works fine as a two-player game. It's not broken. It's not uh, frustrating. But I think you're going to get the best play value out of this by playing it as a one-player solitaire game. And so that's Crypt of Chaos. I think uh, we can both agree that it was a fun, straightforward dungeon crawler that is uh, worth your money. What did you think, Dave? I thought it was very enjoyable. We played about six games of it, and I'd play it again. Excellent. Um, Excellent. Uh, what would you give it uh, as a rating on BGG? I'd give it a six, but with a little bit of a caution about this. Uh, you didn't like the rule book. I'm going to give it my second highest rating. Leave me alone. I'm entering the Crypt of Chaos. Earlier this week, my uh, channel was mysteriously deleted from YouTube without any explanation from YouTube. And then, 24 hours later, it was mysteriously reinstated by YouTube again without any explanation. I think it was probably just a glitch that occurred when they were updating something or other. I don't know the details. But at any rate, I panicked. And, uh, well, uh, I panicked because this is my baby. But I'd like to thank everyone out there who reached out to me during my panic. Uh, I really appreciated all the support. It was very heartening. It's very uh, touching to know that people actually do care about this channel. And so thank you, everyone. And um, there are some positives. Uh, another YouTuber from N Dungeon named uh, Mortis reached out to me. And uh, hopefully we're going to be doing a crossover video in the future. So uh, stay tuned and look forward to that. And once again, thank you, everyone, for supporting this channel. Next week on The Monster Painter, I paint up a three-headed troll. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.
Monster Painter.